So this question is a diagram question to start at least. We see the table provided here, which was also used for question 23. And in this table, we see that we have different property addresses, uh, purchase price amounts, and monthly rental amounts. When we read this information here, there isn't any additional information that we don't already see in the table, but um, it's a good decision to read that just to make sure always. And now when we get into the actual question here, number 24, this is looking like it's going to be a translate word problem, just given how long the question is. Typically, trans the translate word problem strategy is useful for questions that are four or more, right? So four plus lines long. So the question says, Towns and Realty purchased the Glenview Street property and received a 40% discount off the original price. So I'm going to start translating this. And I'm going to say, hey, I don't know the original price. So original, so I'm going to say X equals original price. And now I know that from this original price, I reduced it, right? So minus 40%. Now what happens when you subtract or you take 40% off of something? Um, so let's just do the math a bit faster here than... Uh, than I could technically, but just think about this. If you have a 50% discount, that means you're paying 50% of the cost, right? If we have a 40% discount, that means we're going to be paying 60% of the cost. So minus 40% equals or leads to 60% of the original price. So 60% of X which is rewritten as 0.60x, right? So percentages are always turned into decimals. So then the question goes on to say uh, an additional 20% off the discounted price, right? So again, from here, we're going to subtract 20%, which means we're going to have 20% of not the original price, right? We're taking 20% off the discounted price, so 20% of uh, 0.60x, which means we'd have left over, right? If we're paying, if we're taking off 20% of the discounted price, what we're actually paying is 80% of the discounted price. So I can write this as 0 0.80 times 0.60x, okay? So this is 80%. This is equal to 80% of discount or of discounted price. All right. The question goes on to say, which of the following best approximates the original price in dollars of the Glenview Street property? Well, I know that this 0 0.8 times 0 0.60x is equal to the $140,000 paid for the Glenview property, right? Like that's how we arrive at this number. They first got 40% off and then 20% off of that. And then that's what they paid, 140,000. So this is the translation of the entire question. And now I just have to simplify and solve for X in order to figure out the original price. Because again, this X value is the original price. So in my calculator, 0 0.8 times 0 0.6 is 0.48x is equal to 140,000. Divide both sides by 0 0.48. And I get x is equal to 291,006. Okay, so I don't see the exact number listed here, but it does say best approximates the original price. So it looks like, uh, I'll just call this 291,700, which is choice B, right? So again, the calculator actually says something like 291,666.67, uh, but we're looking for the best approximation. So the best, chance, the, the best answer here is choice B. Now, another strategy that you could also use in this case is plug-in answers. And just as an example, if I try answer choice A, right, I can say, well, if 
the original price was 350, right? So this is starting with the assumption, okay, I'm gonna act as if I know the original price, right? Versus saying, I don't know the original price. So we're gonna say, if the original price was 350, and then I subtracted 40%, right? So 0 0.40 of that 350. And then on top of that, right? So then I got a value, so 0 0.6 zero times 350,000. And then from that, I then subtracted another 20% of the 0.60 times 350. The question is, does that equal the 140,000 that was paid? It doesn't, then we will cross out A. And then you just do that process again for B, which would end up working out or being very close to 140,000. And you, if you, if you tried C and D, you'd see that those didn't get you anywhere close to 